hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today on this dollar tree haul i have so many amazing finds and i'm excited to share my finds with you all um i know you probably want to know the details of so i've been gone for a while i don't feel entirely comfortable sharing that but um, I post more on Instagram, but I want to, I would love to get back into the swing of YouTube. It's just that sometimes, you know, things outside of YouTube, like life and personal things, people go through things. So it kind of keeps you away. But um, at any rate, please, uh, you could follow me on, on Instagram if you would like. I'll put that in the description and we're going to get started. With These are the 70% alcohol. And this is good because this is actually like, you know, a little bit higher than what the CDC recommends. So if you want to make shift your own hand sanitizer, then you can use this. I picked up a lot, but for the purpose of this, I have so many that I had to um, carry along with me. So I'll just put like twos or threes in my bag. So I have two of these. I have two of these um, hand sanitizers in the blue package, 70% ethyl alcohol in the purple pack 70% ethyl alcohol green pack I picked up this barista blend almond milk I really enjoy it um there should be no reason why I would drink you know regular whole milk again I really like this as an alternative so yes get your hands on these y'all I have some toilet bowl cleaner Lysol, some antibacterial travel wipes, and they're so cute you could just pop them in your purse. Look how little that is. So I have these. I have the Lysol solution. I have some travel size Germex um, moisturizing fresh citrus. So these are like travel size, like I said. And I got like the most search item that people are looking for, some hand sanitizer. And this is also 70%. So I'm so glad I was able to find this at my Dollar Tree, which is my favorite store ever in life. Two packs of the freeze dried strawberries and these are delicious. The boss Ella, she eats these as well. She does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls on her videos. I'm going to link her channel below. And these are so good, y'all. True lemon that I used to put in my water. And then I have the Diet Snapple and Raspberry Tea. Good. They, they both taste so good. All right. Let's get into the exciting stuff. My favorite stuff to get at the Dollar Tree, y'all. Y'all already know what time it is. You know, I've been going for a while. I have the Spa Savvy Cosmetic Sponges. And it comes with that Beauty Blender. Heck yeah, y'all. What y'all think? And it's a nice size bag, too. Like, this would be perfect for birthday gifts or Christmas gifts. Got two of those. The sponge is okay. Um, But like I said, I just love it, the deal of it all. But I love that it comes with the sponge inside. I love these whisper cloths because it helps me to facilitate with removing the rest of my makeup. Um, after I take it off with makeup remover, then I go back in with some coconut oil in these cloths. Perfect. Make sure you get these, guys, if you see them. I got me some fur flops. Can you guess what my favorite color is? I'm just going to wait. What do you think my favorite color is? Let's look at my nails, my lips, these fur flops. <laughs> so I got these. Um, Are they worth picking up for them? Not necessarily, but I just think they're cute. I picked up these third sour look. I picked up these storage towers for portion control when I'm going to take some food with me, pop it in my big purse or something like that. And of course, it has to be accent with the color pink. So I'm organizing my stuff by baggies. So let's go in this baggie. Make sure y'all get these. Even though it's pink, guys, it works amazing. I used to get the one by, I think it was Gillette. And it used to be like eight, nine dollars. Fifty cent a pop for one raise at the Dollar Tree. You already know what time it is. I love this, but I haven't really been consistent with it. This is the Jade Roller. It feels really good. And I use this when I get a headache. I'll just put it over my temples and things like that. And it works well with that. So I have the small version and I also have the big version. Let me show you the big version right now. Big version. I highly recommend purchasing both. Oatmeal and Lemon Verbena Vegan Soap. 
make sure you get this before in the past the fragrance wouldn't last that long but now i find that this particular scent lasts really good when you're lathering up on your body it, wor it works really well so if you didn't get any of the other ones because i guess the scent would vanish after like one second make sure you get your hands on this one oatmeal and lemon verbena i have the ponds perfect color complex and this is for anti marks so to fade like dark spots and stuff I feel like this is powerful because honestly I used it one night and the next morning I noticed like my skin was light I'm like I don't ain't got no like bleaching agents in this joint because this thing I think it works but I need to be more consistent with using it ponds OMG guys if you see this at the Dollar Tree you better get it this have my skin looking so nice. This is the Pure Detox by Pons, the charcoal one. You're going to have to get this. And it doesn't expire until I think, um, what is it, the year 23? Yeah, I think the year 23. I'm telling y'all, you need to stock up on these. These will have your skin looking so nice. Oh my God, I love this product. Please get your hands on these it's small but the thing about it is you just put a pea size and it lathers. i have never used anything that if you use a pea size it lathers up so much like i use the pea size and i lather it up in my hands and i can use that for my neck and my face and it'd be so soapy guys I'm telling you get this all right let's get into the skincare the silicone face mask applicator the Pore Refining Hydro Gel Face Mask with Aloe Vera and Tea Tree. I cannot wait to use this. That's one of the reasons why I went that up and do this whole so I could try to use this this tonight. Okay. Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skins. It's the do-it-yourself powder to clay mask. 99% natural ingredients, y'all. Get into it. Another one. Invisible Gel Hill Cushions. The Cucumber Hydro Gel Face Mask with vitamins A, C, and E. So, y'all, they said that the nail salons is open. So, y'all know I went and I went to get my nails on. Psych! I went to... No, I did go to the nail salon. I'm not even gonna lie. I just didn't want y'all judging me. I did go. It's called Dollar Tree Spa Nails. That's where I went. To Dollar Tree Spa Nails. Yes, y'all. Can y'all see that? I hope so. I hope y'all can see that. Ooh, sis, you did that. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's going to be like staring all of my nails. But one dollar and I only use one pack. Um, It's a little bit small for my, my thumbnail bed. But if I can only just pay one dollar for one pack, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I buy extra just in case, but I love that I could at least try to use one pack of nails. The compact trimmers, um, I will use this especially like for my eyebrows. I think I used it one time in the past and it worked pretty good. Yeah. So I got that by Short and I will use this for my eyebrows and you can use this for your eyebrows. Face bikini line is quick and easy and it's gentle on the skin, y'all. Ooh, la la. I have these Mineral Rush by Jessie's Girl. And when I tell you, this feels like it is well worth over a dollar. And y'all know that's what I like. Like, I like when the quality feels like so much more than a dollar. The brush is really nice. I have one open and I'm going to show you what that feels like. Let's see. But look at this quality, y'all. Seriously. Look at that. Like this, if you did not want to get the powder, because I'm not really into the powder. Um, if you did not want to get the powder for whatever reason, because you have a lot of makeup, get these tools, y'all. Like, look how thick and well made this is. Can you tell? And then you just, you know, come on, y'all. You just get it done. <laughs> One dollar. The brush itself is way well worth over a dollar, so... Like I said, if you didn't need any makeup, at least get it for the brush. Jessie's girl. Let's get into this bag. I love this brush to contour down my nose. It's nice and thin on the side. So y'all know that this is always like a repeat buy for me. And it's so pretty. And when you wash it, the colors doesn't fade. Even in the bristles or, you know, 
the actual colors on the brush it does not fade beautiful add this to christmas gifts birthday gifts i mean little girls who like to play in makeup come on y'all let's be creative this is what dollar tree is for to have fun explore all for the low low so this is always a repeat buy for me and like i said i particularly use this to contour my nose but if you want to see videos of me actually trying out these products just uh leave comments okay and i'll try to do it i recommend and it's not because it's just pink but i do recommend it really does assist with putting your eyelash on because it like really grasps grasps the eyelash so you can place it in the right place get this i got some elf stipple brushes and i think the original retail price would be like four dollars or so four or five dollars or maybe six. I'm not entirely sure. But I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I use this to put on my sunscreen first. And then, um, yeah. I haven't really tried it with foundation because I like uh, the more dome shape brushes. But if you want me to at least try to use some of these things that I'm holding, leave a comment. I do want to get back on YouTube, you know. But yes, one dollar. I have these brow grooming kits by sassy and chic and yes the eyebrow razor does work i haven't tried the mascara mascara wand because i don't really use mascara like that but yes 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 this is so cute this is the only eyebrow pencil that i use the only eyebrow product that i use and it's the color mates um paraben free y'all paraben free brow and eyeliner pencil yeah in the color black brown this is always, this has been a repeat purchase for years. I always use this to carve out my eyebrows. Ooh, I always use this to carve out my eyebrows. And the powder brush I don't really use like that, but they're so cute, the little set, y'all. Let me show you. Come on, let's get into this. If you just put together like a basket, and there's so much stuff you could put in the little basket, y'all. Like all this good stuff and more i love these i use this around the house to disinfect and sanitize things when i make my disinfected sanitizer spray with bleach so i use this um under my swiffer the one that has that little wet jet thing i use this and i use this to wipe down every single thing so if you see the things in a baggie i don't play i wipe down everything everything um everything love these I pick up these all the time. They're so perfect. And they're so big. They're so long. Um, do I have any on me? I only use one of these to remove my makeup. Don't tell nobody because I don't want y'all to go to the store and buy all of these things up and then I can't find them no more. This is why like, we be family, right? So keep it within the family. Don't go and tell everybody because then ain't going to be no more for me to go buy. So we only need one. And it takes off all of your makeup because i think this is like two and a half of like average wipe sizes and i like that you could rip it down anywhere see perfect so i have these fashion scarves cute yeah see i have two of these Remington scarves And it's a really good material. Like you do a perfect head wrap with these. Feminine foaming wash. Take them out. These are the facial cleansing brushes. And these are the ones that are battery operated. They're perfect, guys. They work exceedingly well than the dollar price point. It's the same exact brush, but just a different packaging. This one is a more sturdier packaging, friends. Get your hands on it. I have these Huggy Simply Clean Wipes. They work really well with removing makeup. The Laura Sensitive Vitamin E Wipes. All right, let's get into the hair care stuff. These work perfect, these work perfect. These are the two-in-one brush and combos. Perfect for like um, laying those edges. <laughs> Body pins. 
This is a must have. If you like to lay your edges, this is definitely a must have. The Lusty Shea Butter Egg Shell. But I noticed that you can't even really find them anymore. This is so good, guys. So good for laying down those edges. Small container, but it's really, really good. A nice product. If you tried it before, you know. I'm not going to say this out loud. <laughs> I do not play when it comes to these because I actually want to get more into um, eyeshadows. So this is a definite pickup per um, product because it works so well. So well, that's something like I stocked up on these, y'all. The shadow switching sponges. And they say that you're only supposed to like use it with shadows, but I use it with liquid stuff too, like concealer and foundation. And it washes really well too. So don't don't just think that you use it once and then you like have to dispose it because you could wash it. So like I was saying, I'm gonna open up one so you can see. Please get this, y'all. I could do a review on it, but and it's kind of like you know it's porous, of course. And. You could just wash it with soap. <laughs> it's good. And you could also use the tin for something else if you wanted to. Tabitha Thrifts was so kind enough to send me several of these hard candy contour kits. And it come and it comes with the brushes as well. And I have one that's open, because I use it already, of course. The highlighter at the bottom broke. <laughs> Don't pay that no mind. I did use the prep to prime my eyes. I didn't use this one. I haven't used that one because it's kind of drying. I don't use the contour color because it's too light for my skin tone. But I do use this to brighten up my under eye and this as a subtle highlight. I have it on today. Paired with this highlighter. So it's a combination of the one on the bottom and this. And I'll just show you the brush. It's dirty, y'all, but this is the brush. I do not like to use this to contour unless I need to play around with it some more. I use it to smudge out my under eye. This. And I use this to get into the crevices under my eye. And I will demo that for you right now. This color right here is good because it brightens up my under eye. And you just take down some powder. Yes, yeah, so I love how it just goes under like that. Nice little brush. I like it. Um, I don't use two of them in here. But I use the others and the brush is nice. I have two of these hard candy highlighters. And I'll do some quick swatches on those. Add some more. And this white color. Okay. Look, so I have the extended shades in the LA colors. Okay. I don't like the smell at all. This one smells like canned green beans. And even though that's my favorite food, I don't like the smell on my face. So I will use this, um, like, you know, just refill it with my favorite <laughs> foundation. But I don't like, um, I don't like how it feels like it's just sitting on top of your face, like it doesn't absorb. It looks luminous in a greasy type of way. It's just, it's not for me. So I do appreciate the gesture of them extending the shades 10,000 years later. But, um, nah. The boss Ella <laughs> convinced me to pick up these Remy Rose uh, matte liquid lipsticks. I'll do some swatches of those on my hand. And I'm actually wearing Kara with some lip gloss. It's so bright, y'all. I love this. 
so bright, like bubblegum pink. And the next one is Ariana. And the last one I got is Emily. I remember the brand is Remy Rose. So it's like a nudish for brown skins or deeper skin tones. Is that one right here. Kara, Ariana, Emily. Emily, Ariana, Kara. Ooh, shout out to that good memory bank. <laughs> Hard candy, metal glaze, 12 hour intense liquid for you. So you can use this on your eyebrows, your eyeshadow on your lips. But when I first tried it on, it was cute, but I wouldn't recommend getting it. Let's watch that too. It's not as thick as I would like. It's watery and it's almost like for it to build up to the intensity, I would like you have to build it up, build it up. It's just, it's, it's okay. If you want me to try a video with some of this stuff, just let me know. Last, but certainly not least, lashes galore. All right, so the lashes I'm wearing now is Wispy Long Spiky. Those are, I think, my favorite. Then it's like Wispy Cat Eye, something like that. Hold on, I'm gonna take them out of the Ziploc. So both of these are the Wispy Long Spikies. They're so beautiful. I think I like these more than my Shop Miss A lashes. And this is my fourth time wearing them. Ooh, <laughs> not joking. Wispy Long Spiky. Wispy Long Crisscross. I think this is a little bit more on the natural side, so not really, not really for me because my eyes are big. I would prefer a more dramatic lash. Wispy Long, wait, nope, sorry. Wispy Long Crisscross, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Natural cat eye, not for me, not for me. <laughs> Wispy dramatic flare. So you see how it kind of flares out at the ends. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite. And this is like the newer packaging with the neon lights. Wispy on spiky. Don't go and bob on the wispy on spiky because then we're going to have a problem. <laughs> These are the wispy cat eyes. And the wispy on spikies in the older package. Okay, guys, so I know it's a long video, but if you watch the entire video, you are a real one, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Please give me a thumbs up. And, um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, and, of course, I want to make more videos, too. If you would like to support um, my Dollar Tree hauls on my channel, I'm going to leave my cash app below, and I'm going to annotate it within the video. If you would like to, any contribution will greatly help. Um, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Love you guys. I'll see you soon, okay? I promise.